Hi, my name is Laura Barrett. I'm 16 years old. I live in Dixon. It's a little town in Northern California, kind of near Sacramento. Mostly what we have here is farmers and one Walmart, so we're lucky there. There you go. Stop. Go ahead. Go. I was born with a genetic condition called spinal muscular atrophy. I was a military child for most of my life, so I've been around the country. Whenever I move, I more or less need to find a new medical team. And the people here in California at UC Davis have been wonderful. I first learned about the Muscular Dystrophy Association when I was in Hawaii. So I got to go to my first summer camp on the beach at Camp Erdman. There's not very many limits at those camps because it's for people with wheelchairs. It's for muscular dystrophy. So there are people there who are willing to help you do whatever you want to do. I've always had a great time at those camps. And it was actually through the Muscular Dystrophy Association that I kind of got my first taste of Jayco. Okay, so what is it like raising the world's most independent person who happens to be in a disabled body? It can be difficult. And so we have looked um, throughout Laura's life for opportunities for her to gain greater independence. And um, Jayco has been a big part of that. We, we looked, we got her, the, her service dog opened up huge doors for her and then she came home and told us she was gonna get Jayco and that has been amazing. And just because of all of the things that she can now do, she'll take off on her own and I have a lot more confidence that she's gonna succeed and be able to come home and... Um, not die. Not die. <laughs> I do a lot, a lot of very advanced work at my high school with my honors and AP classes. And I find Jayco very useful for various projects. For instance, if I were to need help with a calculus problem, I might use Jayco to help me raise my hand, which I cannot get above my head on my own. And if I wanted to draw a straight line in an art class, I might have Jayco pin down my ruler so that I could use a pencil with my free hand. I've always had a rough time with mailboxes. We have one of the ones where it's got a bunch of little stacked metal boxes next to each other, and ours is pretty high up off the ground. It's hard for me to get at. Um, but one day, I decided to see if I could do it with Jayco. So I basically just took the mail key, set out of the house by myself, and went down. It took me quite a while to get right, but I was able to use Jayco to get the key up, put it in the lock, turn it, open the door, and then get the mail out, all on my own. Before I got Jayco, I was very, very dependent on others when I was out in public. For instance, if I were to drop something on the ground, I wouldn't necessarily be able to get it back on my own. And going shopping on my own was out of the question. Most of the objects on shelves and racks are just too heavy for me or too far out of my reach. But with Jayco, that has completely changed. To the point where now, if I'm out and about, I can call mom and say, hey, do you need anything from the store? And if she tells me I need something, I can just go in, use Jayco to get it off the shelf, and no problems there. I can just be out by myself, and I feel like I'm really going to be able to get along when I need to be on my own. I know Laura has a lot of plans. She has plans. She's being wooed by universities all over the country, which is difficult for me as a mother to even contemplate, but... Um, I know that she has Jayco, and I know that she can open doors. I know that she can get books if she needs them. I know she can prepare food if she needs to. So many things that have given me greater confidence to look forward to her future. So. I am not the only one in the world who wants independence. I think it's a very, very universal dream, and it's something that everyone needs in some measure. And it's something that a lot of disabled people just can't have, something that I didn't have for most of my life. Which is why, to me, it is so important that the research be done and the funding raised to get Jayco out there, to make sure that everyone who could need it has access to it. It can change so many lives in just the way that it changed mine.